no code, no code, no code. Let's discover some useful tools and resources you can start using today. Let's go! Hey, it's me, Kaio again. I'm the CTO of We Are No Code. Welcome to another video. In this channel, we talk about no code tools and we help you during this journey of building your own online business startup MVP without writing a single line of code. So if you want to know more about no code tools, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. All right, let's talk about all the tools and resources I want to share with you in this video. The first tool I want to share with you today is called Jot Forms. And Jot Forms has been in the no code space for a while, for a couple of years now, but recently they launched this new version of their own app and it's called Jot Form Apps. And basically, with Jot Form Apps, you can build simple apps based on forms. So, Jot Form itself was created initially as a form tool. So you basically create forms using Jot Form. And now they have this version for you to simply build forms and then put these forms in a format of an app that people can download, can use as they were using an app. And then with these features, you can create very simple apps, very specific apps that might be what you're looking for for your business, for example. So it's really simple. You don't have to learn a lot of things to actually use this tool because it comes down to just really figuring out how your farm should look like. And basically you create a very simple layout. You customize the colors. You choose even templates that they have if you want to start with existing templates. And this way you can get your app done really quickly and easily. And you don't have to have like a lot of design skills to actually be able to create this kind of apps. But it's important to have in mind that this no code tool is more focused for creating simple apps. So do not compare this tool to more complex tools like Bubble, Webflow, Adalo, for example. This one is more focusing on giving you the ability to create simple specific apps that rely on forms basically. So it's kind of a type form, if you know type form, inside an app. Basically you create some buttons and then you configure actions for these buttons and then you can build quick uh, and simple apps like you are seeing right now. So go to the website, take a look. You can even preview the existing templates they have and you can find out if this could be a solution for you to quickly create an app for your business, for example, without spending a lot of money, without spending a lot of time building this app. So yeah, Jot Form apps could be a good alternative for you. I also want to share with you our free toolkit. You can download it by clicking on the link down below on this video's description box. This toolkit has information about no code tools and also discounts that you can use while signing up for those specific amazing no code tools. So yeah, don't waste this opportunity. Get your free toolkit right now. The next tool I want to share with you is called Mock Over. And if you are a designer like me, you are going to enjoy this tool. And also if you're not a designer, maybe you will like it too. So let's take a look at Mock Over. Basically, this tool allows you to create mockups. And it's nice because you can select one existing photo that you have. For example, you take a photo from your own computer or your phone, or you can even find stock images that you can use for free on the web. And then you come to this tool, you upload this picture, and you can map this image to create a placeholder that will receive your image. For example, you can turn one static image into a mocap and then you can apply other image on top of this image to create amazing mocaps that simulate how your app looks like in a real device, for example. Or you can show like how your logo could be applied in a variety of scenarios like mugs, or t-shirts, whatever you want to create. It's amazing because it allows you to use any existing image you have and turn this image into a mocap. And you don't even need to open Photoshop to do that. How cool is that? It's amazing. It's on the web and yeah, it's free. So take a look at mockover.com. If you want to learn more about no code tools in the no code space, I invite you to check our free course. In this free course, we teach you how to get started with no code tools and how to launch your startup business idea without being a tech person and without writing code yourself. Yes, it's possible to launch your digital online business startup idea 
without writing code. So don't miss this opportunity. The link is down below on this video description section. Go there, register for free in this course right now. And the next resource I want to share with you is called Magic Eraser. And this is really nice because it's a solution for you to remove unwanted objects from one specific image you have. Like this car, for example, it's being removed completely from the image. So if you have that person to be on your photo, maybe on the background, maybe on some travel that you made and then a lot of people were around you and you want to remove this person, you can do it by using Magic Eraser. And it's really nice because you would use Photoshop to actually achieve this goal of removing some parts of an existing image. But you don't need Photoshop to do that. You, you don't need a lot of design skills also. Just come to the website and you can use this tool for free. So it's another option for you. They have a free plan and also a pro plan as well if you really wish to use this resource for real and every day. So it's really nice. Take a look, drag and drop your image here, take it for a spin and give it a go. I hope you like it. That's it from me today. Thanks for watching the video. I see you on the next one. Let's go.